What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap on one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was a random, sort of random-ish matchup against WHF. Um, I don't know the details behind it, but uh, ended up kind of an on-the-fly matchup with WHF. Uh, great guys over there. Really nice bases. Um, really, really strong clan, obviously. You know, Powerbang uh, has his crew a locked down, and we're going to check it out. Two-star victory goes to uh, WHF. Um, really good efforts on both sides, though. Uh, we did struggle a little more on the nines than we had hoped. Uh, our 11s, I think, performed similarly well. Uh, had a few nice uh, sort of TH10 bully three stars in there. Uh, WHF for themselves ended up doing the same, but they also had, I think, one or two. Caps is a brand new 11. Uh, there's one, and I believe Predator had a six pack 10 versus 10. Uh, obviously, very new and low 10s, but nothing, uh, nothing to scoff at by that, and that ended up sort of being the difference. Uh, we missed a couple of their 10s. Um, as you're going to see in a moment, they cleaned it up all the way down using no bullies actually as well. They had a few scouts on the board after the, after the, uh, the bullies. Let's just check this out. There was a couple of bases of ours though that really gave them trouble. Um, they really, really rocked a lot of them, but look at that. Mikao, uh, six attacks it took. Do work son, four attacks. And there was another one in there. Boom. Warble. Eight attacks that base took before Town Hall 9 finally took it down. But just the fact that they were able to use that many attacks on these bases just showed how well they did on our other Town Hall 9. So, again, really nice war, uh, really nice job overall, WHF, I should say. And just check it out. We had a lot of successes, though, within this war. Um, our Town Hall 10s really, really did well. Look at that. You know, nice two stars. Uh, all the way there, we did have to use guns on that one. Uh, Salty uh, getting uh, their last Town Hall 11 there. Uh, Unique had a really sexy uh, triple on their top Town Hall 10. Um, obviously, no bully attacks, nothing nothing crazy, but we did not have any 10 versus 10 successes. And then, like I said, that kind of made the difference because these two Town Hall 10s were essentially the difference. Now, um, like I mentioned, we did use, I think, four or five, maybe even six bullies on the nine. So that is something that we did not want to uh, want have to want to have to get to, but is what it is. Uh, overall, nice effort, though, by 2.0. Uh, very close war and nice win for WHF. Let's just jump right in here. We're going to check out number 40, Chad Fowler really mastering this uh, avalanche attack. Again, guys, when you're looking for a base to do this avalanche attack on the main keys are sort of very open or dead cores now if you look at this little dead zone there's no defenses in here unless there, there were some teslas in there you can drop golems into the three o'clock compartment and drop a jump spell here i mean you don't even have to connect the jump spell but even if you did everything's going to go in just a clockwise rotation around the around the base not up uh, or split or anything like that so that's exactly what chad does here going down on that mortar a couple wizards down on all sides getting this funnel created got to get that town hall down very very quickly so very heavy on the wizards up there wall gets opened up golem start rerouting into the base and he's going to go ahead and just let everything move on in this is a very 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 slow style of attack really just want to get the golems in get the initial cc pulled out get some damage done and can start the movement around the base Oh, excuse me. Uh, so that's exactly what's going down here. Queen's going to kind of just take stuff out from behind. Sends in that other golem from six. Still has two more golems in the bag with three more jump spells. Going right at this queen chamber now. Has both golems on this mortar. Just continuing to drop these wizards. Start taking out these trash buildings on the outside. Another jump spell going now. Connecting everything so it all is going to meet up in this queen chamber. If you look, that cannon is further away from that arch tower. So golems coming here are definitely going to path into that queen chamber and you can drop one more jump spell up here and then everything's going to start moving on up queen ends up getting stuck because she loses uh, doesn't make the jump spell on time so is a bit of a i mean a lot of times with this attack i've been talking about this before you do lose your heroes so sorry it wasn't a golem it was a max pekka in the cc that's another little uh thing about these attacks not everyone brings that max pekka for this but chad seems to really opt for it it does do big big damage in there compared to a golem helps clear out the trash helps the king out help move the king along through the defenses right golems are obviously going to lock right onto the defenses but uh the king is not going to so that pekka really really helps keep that king moving along with the golems wizard all on the outside right just doing their thing taking out those trash buildings really there's only two more compartments to go this queen luckily stood up on this wall for just the perfect amount of time because now she's going to step in here start taking out these wizard towers help out uh, with the trash got a few wizards on the outside and still has a cleanup in the bag chad fowler tree in the bag my friend good job 
the swag wizard didn't even drop it. I like it. Right. Rabra going on Lady Mystica. Mystica? Miss Mystica? I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I like this attack a lot. This is basically a cold blooded Lalo. Um, just drops the golem right on that mortar. Wizards all around, right? Get that funnel going. Wants to jump in right into this section. Get the because knowing this queen's gonna jump into this very open compartment here. Look at this jump spell. Gonna let everything right at that queen. Gonna pull out that CC. Gotta drop that poison. Get it down as soon as you can. Once that is down, you can get that queen in there. Get that king in there. It does pop the ability uh, by accident there, I believe. Uh, but doesn't matter, right? Defensive queen is down. All the CC troops are down. King's going to continue to move through this uh, this section of the base. The queen's going to step up, take out that cannon, take out that air defense just in time. Maybe not actually. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Down goes the cannon, but the <laughs> grit of her teeth takes down the air defense, which is obviously was a huge key to this uh, this portion of the raid. So in comes the air attack. Lava Hound coming in for four o'clock. Two loons backing it up. Quick haste, gonna throw everything in on that mortar and then right in on that arch tower. Second hound is in. Two balloons, two balloons. Third hound is now in, nice and early, getting it in there. Already has balloons on that uh, air defense number two. And this is going to start shifting on over. Raid spell goes down and start pushing these balloons right up into that third air defense and the Tesla. <clears throat> a couple more balloons in from 9 o'clock. Just slowly working into this base. Has barely taken any damage on the balloons, which is absolutely perfect. Has to worry about this uh, Tesla farm up here, though, but has four balloons moving in. Bunch of balloons coming in from behind. Expo set to ground, so that's kind of good. Still has a balloon, still has a hound in there, right? Taking shots from all those Teslas. Everything's in range of that air defense, so good job on that. Has a Tesla, a couple wizard tires to go. Boom, boom, boom. King is still on the outside there doing some cleanup. Has a couple cleanup gobbies in there, right? Does not get that last hound to burst, I don't believe. No. Fortunately not, but doesn't matter. It's going to be a tree in the bag for Robbie. Sexy CB Lalo. Air still lives at Town Hall 9, guys. Just got to break it down properly. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure Power Bang actually just did a video on that. I didn't actually watch it, but I remember seeing some notification about it. I believe it was Power Bang. It, cold blood, in fact, in this recap, I'm showing you a cold blooded Lalo and a shattered Lalo. Uh, not this one. What I have next? 36 Mikao. Bringing the Mach 6 attack. Sorry, last couple recaps. I was talking about uh, Machness. Uh, and his sort of new hybrid style attacks using six max miners in your clan castle, using no golem, using a queen charge. The idea is exactly this, okay? Queen charge going in. You're going to get the defensive queen out of the out of the way. Take care of that CC. You're not bringing any sort of golem here. That is the key, right? That's why we call it the Mach 6. You can't call it a Gova liner or whatever some people are calling it because there is no golem, so there's no go. Um, anyhow, poison down, rage down, taking care of that queen like nothing. Going to start working on that. Gets that baby dragon there, doing some serious funneling work. Brings one giant to make sure the funnel's created wide. Uh, fortunately, the giant takes a hike over that mortar, so that loses the funneling wizard, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Yanking out that clan castle. Here it comes. Going to get it on over to the queen and see this huge funnel now created at 12. Well, what that creates is he can just drop Valkyries all at 12 o'clock. They're going to beat through the wall, go right into this base, and, oh, maybe it's not there where he drops them. I think he actually drops them down on this side now that I think about it. It was a while ago since I watched his attack. Two Valks in there, right, just starting to create that. Oh, there's the wall breakers opening things up. That's right. So drops them all. Really good placement on those Valks. Knows if he drops them up here at an angle, they're going to go to that can. If he dropped them further over, uh, further to the outside, they may have gone to this. So Valks are all in. The idea here is you're dropping the miners on the outside of the base, trying to have them move along with the Valkyries. Now... This has a two-pronged effect. Um, not only is it going to add some DPS and let these miners just kind of work through the base while the Valks are doing serious tanking, these healers also have locked onto the Valks, but they also start taking out trash buildings on the outside. It just helps move everything along. He did not intend for the Valks <laughs> to go to the outside. I think he was hoping this trash, the miners would have taken out the trash by now, um, which they didn't, and then lose, loses a few of them because they stray to the core like this and get stuck up on some skellies. But still has, I think, three or four miners, four or five even in there, doing work. They're just moving along. Valkyries are now on the outside. 
uh, rages up the hogs and the miners going to push them right through to this stuff might have wanted to, to save the rage for one more second for this part um, but doesn't matter no big deal queen still has a healer on there she's moving up taking care of the core of the base king and the valks are walking on the outside miners are in the uh, kind of in these compartments like, moving along with them doing work <laughs> saves the last couple hogs here to move in hits that rage up on that queen and to take care of these last few defenses there's just way too many valks not enough defenses this base is gg the Mach 6 attack, loving it. Mikhail and Mach uh, are really, really... Oop, hello. Mikhail and Mach are really doing uh, nice work, uh, really utilizing these miners. You know, <laughs> maybe golems are dead at Town Hall 9. I don't know. Anyhow, tree in the bag for Mikhail. Beautiful. Uh, all right, 35. We got Nammers here. One jump, three heals. Um, very standard. I believe he brings uh, Shattered Entry here. Sorry, I watched these attacks earlier today. Kind of remain, yep, shattered entry. So just all these mortars on the outside, right? Kind of giving the golems a little bit of trickiness for their pathing. So you really got to try and just use that to your advantage. Use them as anchors. Know that they're going there and just start creating your funnels on the outside. So that's exactly what he does here. Huge, huge funnel now getting basically created from 10 to 2. Everything moving in. Test wall breakers in. few more going in. And he's going to open this very, very long sort of... Um, weird shaped compartment but the idea here is he's going to just let everything move in and walk down this alleyway taking everything out and uh, as it goes as soon as it gets here he's going to drop a jump spell allow access to the queen knowing the queen is going to jump backwards into this whiz tower compartment <clears throat> so that is exactly what's happening heal spell is down a couple hogs in on these outer compartments that the the valkyries are not going to reach just really want to protect them and start forcing them into where the queen is in they jump queen's about to lock them on as soon as it takes a shot at this hog everything is locked in on over to that queen down she goes see you later queen has hogs moving in from all sections of the base gets a good trigger on that bomb from that golem heal spell down at six o'clock just perfect timing on that because uh, he did have hogs there in uh in that bomb range so it keeps them all protected boom 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 basically an expo now a cannon and an archer tower to go and it's clean up time just enough hogs <laughs> just not quite enough hogs i should say <laughs> but literally anything spits on that arch tower it's going down this golem is about to move into range and tank for uh tank it for the rest of the raid just has to work through this trash queen gets stuck up on a couple buildings but no big deal in she goes doing some work see you later base that's tree in the bag for namnog i believe you had a six pack this war really nice job buddy okay so moving up the chains here good old days days for days <clears throat> good old basically uh double jump govaho here gets the baby drag down there that baby drag is going to get big value right because the only thing that eventually will lock on here is this arch tower maybe in that uh whiz tower but it doesn't matter because the drag is going to move down now <clears throat> get really good value drops that queen Ooh, the expo does lock on but i believe he gets four maybe even five buildings out of the deal yeah four buildings but <laughs> loving the baby drags right guys really use that to your advantage it is 10 troops base so make sure you're getting the value out of it but it's very easy to get that value out of it so drops the golems already uh i believe he knows that there's a hound in the cc so just doesn't care he just wanted to create the funnel and keep the valks moving through this core very very sort of um easy to predict these jump spells uh so pulls that uh, hound right out onto the golem basically only brings two wizards on that outside to do some funneling and knows that they're not going to move into the range of that hound so the hound's just going to lock on this golem and, and basically walk with it the entire raid valkyries are going to get just as much value as they would um with there not being a hound there obviously a uh, little off on that jump spell there days but no big deal it's all good <laughs> uh heal spell goes down letting everything in on that queen teslas go down at the same time as that queen so great great value on the hounds there or sorry on the valks there derp <clears throat> just got to work through a couple more compartments he's already sent in a few hogs sent in the miners as well so this is not a max six because there's a there's golems involved However, really good use, I think, of the miners over the hogs. I think they can get really good value. The only thing you got to worry about is, is knowing that they're going to pass to buildings that are not defenses. So if you can get through that aspect of the planning, they are a lot stronger than hogs, right? You don't have to worry about bombs. Um, spring trap wise, 
I don't, I'm not sure 100% how they work. You will lose miners to spring traps, but I believe only if they pop up on the spot that the spring trap is. Um, so the fact that they go to all buildings, not just defenses, means you cannot judge the, the spring trap pathing. Moral of the story is they're safer versus spring traps than hogs are. A uh, little troll Tesla in the corner. But there's way too much left up for that to mean absolutely anything. Almost a swag mini in there. A couple swag minis. Didn't even need them. Just got to get the Valks on over to that army camp. Kablam. And see you later, Tesla. This base is done for. Tree in the bag for days. Nice job, buddy. Okie doke. Um, 27. Good old life going in here. Uh, double rage, single jump here. This base was kind of interesting. The reason I want to show this is because if you, um, one of the sort of themes of our one high base building is you got to have some meat inside your base. Um, the the reason being is you want troops kill us kill squad to get held up on stuff. If you look inside this base, the only structures that have any sort of notable hit points would be the expo and the clan castle. Other than that. Um, you know, and the clan castle and expo are in the same spot there. So this whole bottom side of the base, the, once you get stuff into the base, there's just nothing to slow it down. So this queen charge is going beautifully, right? Goes right into that queen chamber. Poison goes down, taking care of the CC. Raids down nice and early, just taking care of all that business. Defensive queen down. Valks are going down. See how much damage those Valks do, though? Even under the poison, even the queen's under the rage. So you got to be very, very careful, guys. Make sure your queen is not hurt. Make sure that rage is down early. Make sure that poison is down early, and you should not have a problem. Second rage goes down. Going to push this queen right on in. Realize that he has a lot to work through to get through this queen chamber with a charge, but gets great value out of the process. Definitely worth the two raid spells he brought. Um, huge funnel created early with these minions. Nice job on that. Um, everything's going in now. Wall is open. Valkyries are in. King is in. Still has 16 hogs in the bag as well. Something to think about there for later on this raid. Does lose a couple a couple of Valks to that spring trap, so that was very unfortunate. But heal spell goes down. Jump spell goes down. Everything's going to continue to move down through these sections, right down to 6 o'clock. Jump over here. All these very, very small compartments. Going to get really good value. Doesn't have a lot to worry about trap-wise, um, at least right here, although there is a really sort of cool, tricky DGB here. Uh, don't know if the pathing entirely works, but uh, anyways, cool DGB nonetheless. You look at this little little compartment, this little suspicious compartment with the one builder's hut in it. You got to wonder what's in there. These hogs are about to find out what's in there. Just got a path on over to that. That mortar and then they're gonna jump oh let's see the hogs miss it completely some does get in there i know they do yeah it's not the hogs though i know the bomb gets triggered here though in one second <laughs> cannon goes down really there is a tesla up here for that for to worry about and that is it there's no other defenses to go here oh i believe when the hogs jump over to the uh to the builder set here yeah there goes one builder set and there's that weird DGB <laughs> ends up taking up the clean up hogs, but there's just too much left of this uh, left of this army to uh, to clean up this base. Nice job, life. Sexy tree star in the bag. Beauty. All right, gonna rip off one more of these, and I gotta go to work, unfortunately. Pittsburgh going for the Stanley Cup tonight, though. Three games to one, going back home to Pittsburgh. Um, Probably uh, don't know how many of you guys are hockey fans out there, but I've been a Penguins fan for my whole life since the Mary Lemieux days. Um, so I am really, really, really hoping they finish things up tonight. It would be really nice to see the boys bring it home to Pittsburgh. Um, you know, just an amazing playoff so far. Uh, one thing I know that, you know, I was talking about this, sort of kind of go off on a sports tangent. The reason I don't like the NBA, I'm not a huge fan of basketball in general, but I guarantee you almost everyone midway through the season could have called golden state warriors versus the cleveland um cavaliers <laughs> it's so bad i am at basketball but you know what i mean like it was just it's basketball's so predictable because to me it's such an individual achievement sport um again i'm sure you basketball buffs are just gonna rip me apart for even saying this but i don't know like to me it's just not interesting seeing golden state versus Cleveland like it's just I don't know and anyone could have called that I believe um where in hockey you cannot call the, the, it's so difficult at least to call like who called Pittsburgh San Jose in the final 
not many people that's for sure anyways i love hockey really exciting stuff you know it's 60 minutes of pure action then again so is basketball for the most part as well uh so i got to get some credit there and uh you know watching more of the playoffs this year for basketball than i ever have definitely gave me a little bit more appreciation for the sport but come on gold state warriors versus cleveland that's not very interesting anyhow air attack going great this was the shattered lalo i was talking about earlier in this right but the difference was you had to bring the zap quake because you're not going to get two air defenses, at least with most anti-three-star builds, you're not going to get two air defenses on your entry. However, with that being said, you do not necessarily need all of your spell slots for rages and hastes, right? If if you can get two air defense out of the way, the CC troops and the queen, I've been talking about this for months and months and months, you're left in great position to lalo the base, even just with a couple hastes and one rage. So he brought the zap quake, zap quake one entered in, took out the queen, took out the CC troops and one more air defense and leaves three lava hounds and a bunch of balloons for the base. And obviously, as you can see, gonna be a tree in the bag. Kaboom. Sexy job, Chad. A lot of respect to King of the North too. Talk to that guy on Twitter every now and then. Really cool guy. Uh, I thought he was, a, I thought he ran, I don't know. I don't know a lot about the WHF clan system. I thought he ran WHF too, but I'm obviously wrong about that because I know he's the, the uh, streamer for WHF2, but I don't know. Obviously, I don't know. So anyhow, WHF, nice war. Always a pleasure to match you guys up. Um, obviously, you know, you are a very, very good clan over there, and we have a lot of respect for you guys. And, you know, we look up to a clan like you guys and uh, just look for, for, you know, adjustments to our war plan, adjustments to our tactics that we can uh, maybe copy and, and, and match to uh, match your guys' strength up top because you guys really got it down. Obviously, you know, a couple of really nice Town Hall 10 versus 10 trips and your 11s were just fantastic. So anyhow, I'm going to call it an afternoon. Like I said, I got to go to work, so that sucks, but uh, is what it is. Go Pittsburgh. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help beg that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.